this very, very seriously. <laughs> you know, to me, it's just that uh, if you want to put liquid out at a rate, it's got to be done correctly. Unless you can apply liquids positively, correctly, accurately, you're just wasting your time. And so that was the in for me, was to produce equipment that was capable of doing this. The great thing about our products is that we've got accurate, precise control of liquid, so we can deliver whatever liquid the farmer needs to get down with his crop. That precision placement of the liquid, the accurate rate control, making sure that they're getting even distribution across their, their planter or their seeder, so that you know, every seed gets its fair share of the, of the liquid that's going in. We can be very specific. We can supply at different horizons in the furrow. We can split a flow. We have section control. We can put several liquids down at once with our stacker distribution kit. They're all precision components in it. We have check valves that we've developed, boot covers to protect them, manifolds that stack for multiple liquids. We have various polyethylene tubes that we've developed, different sizes, depending on what your application rate is and what you want to achieve. We've developed all of these with our own tooling and that's how we can achieve stream control. Stream control is what it's all about. Stream control gives them efficiency. Our systems integrate with all the leading ag displays straight out of the box. Farmers can vary their rates on the go. They can verify and measure inputs with our pump and control modules. They know exactly what goes out and when, which is important to maximise profit. Our systems adapt to different planting configurations and retrofit to any colour implement. We've made them flexible, but incredibly accurate and reliable. The pumps themselves are hand built. We actually strip the pumps bare, build them from the inside out so that they can go sub-zero without any effect because a lot of our stuff goes to North Dakota and up into Canada. You have to have the consistency of flow and as Pete would say, the row by row, second by second accuracy and liquid systems are the only systems that can deliver that. Um, it's now more so necessary in agriculture with precision agriculture, moving to decision agriculture where all the data has been turned into diagnosis. To have that capacity we need liquid delivery systems. There is the fungicide, even insecticide, nematicide, inoculant, trace element, uh, your base fertilisers, your starter fertilisers, there's 20 something things that you look at liquid delivery systems for. Uh, you need the accuracy, you need that row by row, second by second accuracy and liquid systems have mastered it. I've got a liquid systems G22. We've got dual lines, so basically down one line we just put liquid urea and in the other tank we put our trace elements and calcium down and our um, fungicides. It's just very, um, very precise, very reliable. It, um, everything manufactured down to a very, very high level of quality. Look, we've had some pretty low rainfalls and we can justify it because we think we've had some pretty good crops in those low rainfall years. There's just years when you think the crops shouldn't have done that and most of it comes back to the, to the liquid systems that we're using. Yeah, well the options are endless with liquid. You can do anything with the system, you can put anything into it and then um, you can get an even flow, even stream right through the whole paddock. Well, I've been farming here for 35 going on yeah between 35 40 years just like any new technology people always stand back and see what the you know what benefits the next door neighbor or whatever's made out of it before they go into actually doing it themselves I've been using it for four four seasons now there's a little bit of edge there with uh, you know the the liquid incorporation into the sowing system I've only got a single single line system on there now. I hope to um, yeah, put a dual line so I can variorate my UAN because the uh, like the sandy country here needs a needs a higher rate of UAN than the, the heavier country so I can vary vary the control of that. It's just uh, you know another technology that we're using yeah try and in, try and improve our yeah what we're doing. Liquid systems um, can provide us with an opportunity to engage so many other processes in agriculture. 
in precision agriculture. I think it's a precision agricultural tool that will take us into decision agriculture. So all this data will be turned into diagnosis and we need a way to transfer that into results for farmers and that is the liquid delivery systems. <laughs>